Hi guys, it's me again. Uh, this week we're gonna do a new meal prep. On my Instagram, you guys were absolutely loving the mac and cheese, which honestly, it's so delicious, it's the best. So many people asked me for the recipe. So many people asked me for the recipe, so I'm giving it to you guys uh, ASAP. So uh, what we're gonna make today is just mac and cheese, my special way, it's not your average mac and cheese. It's super friggin' delicious, and it fits in with my macros, and uh, you know, you can work out yours as well, and I'll tell you how much is in everything. Here we are at the stove and we're gonna start cooking. So I put my pot on and I'm gonna use this pasta. Uh, what can you see it in there? San Remo elbows. They're my favorite ones for this. It's so, they're just little and cute and they get sauce gets all inside the elbow. Anyway, I'm use whatever pasta you want, but that's what I like to use for my mac and cheese. So I'm gonna put the pasta on, like the water is boiling right now. It's not boiling yet. Once the water is boiling, I'll put the pasta in and then we're gonna start making the sauce. All right, let's talk ingredients for the sauce. So it's super, super simple. You start with just some butter in the pan, which I'm gonna do. Then we've got my two secret weapons in this, which is the Nando's Perinés. I use the mild one. You can use the any one you wanna use to make it spicier. Um, but I'm a little white girl and I don't want the spice. And then my secret weapon in freaking everything is French onion soup. Continental French onion soup. I used half the packet last time. I used the rest of the packet this time. And it is just the best. It goes so good in so many freaking things. And it's like 90 cents or something. Then I'm just gonna use some cream. I use the light cooking cream from Buller because it has um, the least calories and the highest protein. So that's why I use that one. Also using light mozzarella, which you can only get, like I've only found at Coles, the Coles brand light mozzarella. I've literally never seen it anywhere else. Um, but I'm sure you can get it other places from other brands. I don't know. Then we're just going to do some salt, pepper, and some onion salt and garlic salt. Nothing like a smile in the morning. Following the linings on your cheeks. Cause baby, in your absence, life is boring. So I'll never leave. Mm -hmm. It's easier to So now that the mac and cheese is cooked and delicious, I've just weighed it and it is, oh, without the spoon, 405. So I'm gonna split that into three meals. So the 405, it, it equals about like 130, 135, which is usually about right because I have about 80 grams of pasta. And with the pasta sauce on there, um, it usually equals like 115, 120, 130, something like that. So I'm happy with that. Don't have to be super perfect. Um, doing the pasta can always be like really hard for me to get perfect because the pasta, um, I, when I have, when I say 80 grams, I mean 80 grams of cooked pasta. And that is usually, I think it's half or three or one third, if I'm saying that right, of like of the pasta dry. So 80 grams is like 20, 35 grams, or something like that of dry pasta. Um, so I don't measure it, I just guess. <laughs> but I know that it is about that much once I've weighed it with the sauce on it. So I'm gonna split it into three, like I said, and then I'm gonna put some chicken with it. You can put whatever protein you want or nothing with it if you want, uh, but I'm gonna put some chicken breast. So I've just popped my chicken on top. I'm gonna mix it through because I like to do that, but you don't have to. So this is the final meal. It is so delicious, it's so good all week. It just gets better over the week. Like the these kind of um, pastas and stuff like that, in my opinion, when you leave them in the fridge for a couple of days and then cook them again, they are so much better. Like the flavors really come out. Maybe that's just me. Anyways, um, if you wanna, you can increase this however you want. Like if you have different uh, macros and different goals, like Jess does, he, he would have so much more pasta than I'm having. Um, I do have three small meals. 
Sorry, Duke is going crazy on the couch over here. <laughs> uh, I do have three small meals and also my breakfast, so that's why I'm doing 80 grams. Anyways, I will see you guys in the next video and I hope that you like this one. If you tried mac and cheese, please let me know in the comments. I have to know if you like the way that I make it um, or if you hate it. Or just message me on Instagram. My link is in the description. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. If I find myself in necklaces, you'll be the one to pull me back into reality. Nothing like your smile in the morning.